Matthew chapter 3, 11 and 12. I did baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that comes after me in the mightier than I, who should I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will throw the force throw and gather his weight in the garner, but he will burn up the chapter with unquenchable fire. John's baptism in the water means washing away sin. However, after Jesus died on the cross, the meaning of the baptism is to die on the cross with Jesus. In Romans chapter 6 verse 3, know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? And in Romans chapter 6 verse 4, therefore we are buried with him by the baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the death by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in new right of life. God makes those who were buried with Jesus reborn by the power of the Holy Spirit. The baptism of the Holy Spirit makes a revelation and works for the saint to preach of the gospel. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is the saints preaching the gospel and empowering them the victorious life. John the Baptist said, He who comes after me will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and the fire. Jesus died on the cross and was resurrected on the third day. He did not show the resurrection to anyone. In Romans chapter 10 verse 9, that if the those shall confess with the mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, those shall be saved. If Jesus showed his resurrection to everyone, it would have salvation. Why did he show only some people? He was shown on those who followed the Lord with constant praise from beginning to end. However, those who saw the resurrection were not able to convey the evidence of the resurrection to others. So the Lord baptized the Holy Spirit. Before the Lord ascended, He said, You will be baptized with the Holy Spirit in a few days. The baptism of the Holy Spirit has the power to save the spiritual life of the others. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is given only to those who have been born again, and those who seek to receive the Holy Spirit without being born again receive the evil spirit, not Holy Spirit. The Lord did not say, Baptism of fire here. John the baptism said it was a fire baptism, but because Jesus did not say it, he rarely said the baptism of fire. However, it was used once in Luke chapter 12, verse 49, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, about the already kindled? If there is a fire of the Holy Spirit, there is nothing yours to be desired. What Jesus did for three years came to throw fire on the ground, and in verse 15, Jesus said, I have a baptism to receive, so how will my frustration go until it is done? Many people have heard of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Those who were baptized in the Holy Spirit were good and could not bear it. So unbelievers said, that is drunk. If you get drunk, you forget everything. Likewise, after being baptized in the Holy Spirit, he said he is drunk. The new drunk is kingdom of heaven comes because the gospel is appeased. To preach the resurrection of Jesus Christ, 
Seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit to deliver the salvation. The disciple said, Isn't it the morning this morning? However, Jesus had never said, I baptized the Holy Spirit for three years. But he has said, The reason I came this work in the flesh is that I came to throw the fire on the ground. What would I want if the, the fire had already caught fire? He said, I have my baptism to receive. Jesus prayed to God in the God of the Gethsemane, If you do, move this cup from me, and I am dead. Jesus also died because he tried to lay down my will and follow God's will. We will not be happy if we put down our wishes and try to follow the will of the Lord. But this is baptism. Baptism is letting people do things that are right to die.